Oh, it's still, man, I told her to come at 3 o'clock. I wanted a girl to come up here really quick. It's only 3 o'clock. It's 514, and now you text me and say, bro, you good? Everything's good? You ain't sending no audio or nothing. Look. I might do this one. I might just do this one. You know what? There's a way that I can take that motherfucker off of this. No, he's hollering on this one. I'm trying to fuck up Atlanta house late. I'm on Black China. I heard you get trained. I know I'm wrong. And why got my nigga? But I just want to tell me to cuss me tonight. I'm gonna die. Yeah, but I'm cool. He's too much. So he's disrespectful. I'm gonna keep that. 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 I'm gonna that nigga funny as fuck, man. Um, I don't know which one I want to do. I might do the first one. I don't even know what I'm going to call it. I'm just, just. I I feel like I'm a tool. I feel like I'm a tool. I feel like I'm too low. Low. I feel like I'm too low. I gotta see what it look like. Huh? I wish it was a timer. Can we make that a timer? That'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. Sweet if I can make that motherfucker count down. Or count to eight minutes. Yeah, we can tell eight minutes for real. Whenever we start, eight minutes. 
face has. Just because you want to do that shit in your brain, I don't. Uh, you know you got to the world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, um. Oh, yeah. We might be done before then. Uh, way before. I don't know. I've been capturing, you know, I was chopping it up anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing, though. Yeah. For sure, I fuck with it. Yeah. I just need me on the road, dude. Yeah, I'm catching you on the two-bed side. Um, so, I'm going to play the, I'm gonna play this video after I get done. You, you want to talk about what you show me? Mm-hmm. All right. So why don't you go into it like you already, like you already just heard it and you about to get into it. Because we can always put the video. Oh, I see you know, what you're saying. All right. You don't got to just play it unless you just want to hear it. I definitely want to hear it, though. Okay. <laughs> All right. I ain't going to take that. Go ahead and play it. I definitely. I got to find it again. Um, if you start it. Yeah, man, this is Side Street TV, man. We, I'm here with my brother, one and only. Um. Do we should we say your your whole yeah, government? I do, but you know how we don't say we don't say yeah, real yeah. governments. You know, you know. You think I don't know your dad is here? <laughs> I definitely know your name, but uh, I'm about to do this reaction video from um, this artist named Big Dog Chino. I fuck with it. I don't know if you know that uh, in my past life I was an R and B singer. I didn't know you was an R and B singer. Did you hear what I said? You ain't listening. In my past life, <laughs> I was an R and B singer. <laughs> But no, I fuck with R B real heavy though. Like you know what I'm saying? So that's why that song that we um we heard on there, I just wanna you know play it again. I'm gonna play it. It's called R M B P by Big Dog Chino. All right, man, you know, that was Big Dog Chino, R&B. If y'all want to check the whole song out, it's on uh, YouTube right now, R&B P by Big Dog Chino. But what you think about it so far, so, the, the song that you heard so far? What do you think? For sure, man. You know, because in my past, like, I was an R&B nigga, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I fuck with that heavy, man. Um, I've been fucking with him for a long time. Only be, Not only because I know him personally. It's because um, the hate they got for that nigga is just so crazy. Oh my God. Yeah. That, that's the funny shit because the way he, um, he probably do be fucking a lot of these niggas bitches or her did. Um, and they mad because how popular he is and he light skinned it and what he did to somebody else. And now they got a certain way because he, right now he's showing all this money. He's showing, he really better, living better than a lot of these niggas. In his bag. In his bag. And these niggas is really, really salty at this nigga. For yeah, no reason. Bad. Out they, out they, hey, listen, man. Yeah, stop playing with him, man. He ain't, he ain't him. Leave him alone. No, uh, yet again, that's Big Dog Chino. I got, uh, I got a uh, question, bro, right? So this next question, seeing that we're going to stay on a little music, Shindig real quick. 
um, people, I've been arguing with people at work and you know, customers that come in at my job. You know what I'm saying? Because what I'm about to say is. What? Say what again? I'll be arguing with the customers oh, okay. and what I'm about to say to you. Because I definitely believe this, like, Cole Hardy, because of the one artist, have more songs than the other. Um, the question is who got more hits, right? Young Dolph or Tupac? Mm. You know what's crazy? I, I fuck with Dolph, but I don't listen to enough of his music to know. He probably do got more hits than Tupac. Tupac, they don't there have we a, go. There we go. Say it. Die, so Say it. Thank you. Thank you. People. They don't have a, a large catalog. Bro, he has maybe no, three. No, he got way more than that. But oh, yeah, yeah. he got more than that. It's just is they hits, yeah, but they hits, he got about two albums worth of singles to that combines into an um, album. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. but Young Dolph got way more songs. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's, it's hella hard to shit. Trip Red probably got more hits. Than no. Uh, ooh, that's I don't yeah, really, I ain't listening. Got such a short run. Yeah. Now a bigger impact, of course. I ain't stupid. Tupac got a definitely a bigger impact than. Oh yeah, impact. He got a bigger impact than anybody. Yeah, yeah, that's the fucking game. Tupac. Yeah, yeah they ain't, ain't. I ain't taking that away from him. Just, just he was arguing. I had one dude come on some man, the Black Panther nigga. Why you turn the whole? Right, I hate when niggas. Panther, nigga. We talking about music. Yeah, I talk about, about. He did this and he got the thug life and I, right. man, I was mad as well. I was like, bro. You keep talking about the nonsense shit. When I don't give a fuck about nobody's personal life. Personal life, that's his personal life. I'm talking about music. It make me feel good. And that nigga was just arguing all up and down. All right. You hip to the um, the awards? The awards that they have here every year. Um, oh, with the, with the uh, like betting and voting? No, nigga. Awards. Ohio Entertainment Award. Dude named Andrew Lloyd, he runs the Ohio Entertainment Awards. When they give out awards, all type of, um, all type of stuff. Um, best male, male artist, best whatever. Well, recently the awards was probably about. Do that. Um, do that. Is that? What? Well, no, you already did that. I'm about to say, is that the one that's on Instagram where you like vote for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be, it's, oh, that'd be him doing. Yeah, it'd be, it's oh, it's it's gold and black or something. To be remember. black and gold. Yeah, it'd be that. Because this, this, his shit be, like, popping for real. He be having a lot of shows in and out of the city. He really fuck with Columbus real heavy. But, no, is it that Columbus or uh, Akron? One of the two. But I broke it up because um, he had a <clears throat> little incident. Rumors says that he had a little incident that um, one of the girls, allegedly, because I don't know. I'm just trying to do my job here, you know. Allegedly. That uh, he was messing with one of the girls that performs for him, and his girlfriend caught it, and they closed the shut the venue down for the award, so he had to switch it to another spot. Like, uh, out in my head, I'm like, she petty as fuck. What did the girl blow up or something like that? No, cause the girl was just hating. I guess it was in her name, and she did. That's what I'm saying, like, did, did she go do some stupid shit about it, or she just, or they were just like, oh, or she trying to maybe. Change? Yeah, or maybe. Did she like sabotage the situation. She tried to sabotage the situation. Fee hating female yeah. shit. Man, listen here, bro. And I don't be knowing why you just be on that. I, you got, you know what I mean? You call me cheating, you call me cheating, but this definitely is my business. Yeah, it's his business. Like, you gonna fuck up my business? Drunk. You're seeing it's my business is helping you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you getting something out of this. Yeah. So you trying to fuck it up. For you to try to like it didn't stop nothing though. Cause the other venue he changed it to was closer to more people and more people showed up. Hey. Oh, you seen that that one video and that girl tried to expose that nigga and, and then he just started getting hella hollows out of nowhere? He became famous, like No, I ain't see that. What's some good nigga he got out of like college? I can't remember the situation, but she tried to the girl who tried to, that went missing. She faked her abduction. Oh, she had to go. This yeah, had, I forgot she did that. Yeah, she tried to fake her abduction. 
Um, and she was saying this and that about the nigga. She was doing some wild shit about that. But the dude ended up getting popular. Money, he had a, he had like a college degree, all types of. Oh, she pissed. Not, and this, she went to jail for it. Yeah, so now you went to jail. You can't talk to that nigga no more. But you just helped him get all of the bitches ever. Just the hate. All you wanted to do was hate. That's all she wanted to do was hate. No, she wanted him back. She wanted him to mess with him or something like that. Something. She want. I think he was stopped. Told her he didn't want to talk to her no more, and she was trying to get him back. She planned her kidnapping, and it was all fake. Shit. Get involved. And I like how you said girls because that's all girl shit. Women don't do that type of shit. Do that type of shit. Wrong women. They ain't doing that type of shit. Oh look, I got. I, I don't know what this is popping my head. So what would you? Want, which one would you rather? Like, um, your girl, um, uh, pay for a nigga, pay for a nigga bills, pay a nigga bills, or you catch a red hand the cheating on you. Like you like honestly, you walking into some shit like uh, which one would you rather? Honestly, I I rather I rather for her to I rather I rather for her to I rather for me to catch her cheating. Yeah, for sure, like, for sure. Yes. We got we got more problems. Yes. You never was my bitch if you ever paid for a nigga bills. Uh, listen, if you I feel like if you got any connection with another nigga and I don't know about it, and you don't. And I'm not benefiting off of it. You're not my bitch. You're his bitch. Like, I'm going to use it for my time being. For sure. All right, so what do you think about this Will Smith shit, man? They, mm. well, I don't know if you heard anything. You heard anything about that I shit? That the nigga gay. Everybody called me there. Everybody said, I look like Will Smith. That's right? funny. But, but, but no, that's crazy. I ain't going to lie to you. Will, is, that's a different type of, I don't know what to call it. With his, piece? Yeah, his, his piece? His piece, like. That's a different type of piece. Like, honestly, in his situation, I would have been less jaded, right? If you show me that you like a dead man, just you obsessed with this dead man, well, I'm gonna let you go you sleep look. right next to this graveyard. I don't, I ain't, I, I, I don't, I'm not Like I said, I'm not shalant, bro. I, don't I think that um, this is all fake plan because. Yeah, because she got a red table talk. She had closed that down on Facebook for so long, and she's trying to bring the red table talk back. And to bring it back is, you know, how she has she bring it back is yeah. keep talking about have something to talk about. Uh, yeah, I ain't thinking and, about that. Maybe she is. And, no, she humili- humiliating. Yes, humiliating. no. Humiliating. Yes, that yes. Like, it and, should and, be. And he not really saying nothing back. Like, I just thought I'd been at home punching the air. Ah! Man, oh no! I just would have got caught in the house doing some shit because. Shit, I do get caught in the house doing. Some shit. <laughs> Wait, listen, bro. Stop. We not, no, man. No, uh, but no. She, but we're not gonna get into that. I would. I would. I know. I'll just. I, I would rather. Oh yeah. No, no, that's too. But still, still, both of them ties to each other. Shit, she was the the, she the was August I seen her. The August I've seen him. That nigga was in the house. Yeah, but you ain't fucking with me in my house. Even if you is, like, at least don't let me find out about it. Like, what you mean? What? It's time to burn the whole house down. No, you right, but if you don't know, it don't hurt you. Oh, I feel like that, too. See what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I mean, that, too. That's I why I don't ask her no questions. Honest, but I want you to have enough respect for me not to do it in the house. But that's why I don't ask no questions. Exactly. I, don't, exactly. like, I don't fuck around I like mean, that, either. I give a girl the, the ultimatum, like, what you, like, have you did it? No, yes. Whatever your answer is, you got to live with it. They say you got to make the bed. You made it. You lay in it. Mm-hmm. What you think about this P. Diddy shit, man? Damn. Can we not use... We can't use that word, bro. He's he's on the other side. We can say other... Yeah, we... That's crazy that you just said it like that. Hey, hopefully YouTube don't flag this shit because you did that. But it, I don't know. Fuck it. But no, but for real, he he really. It's one thing to have a gay allegation, you know. Like you hear, you go out of your life, you'd have heard somebody said you're gay. Like, yeah. You know they ain't gay. Like uh-huh. multiple people having multiple people having validated stories. Yes, yeah, especially Fifty Cent. Oh no, 50 you heard the Fifty Cent one. See, that's the last thing I ever beef with. Like he, you can't let him find out nothing. Man, what he's saying? It. He already said he told he told Fifty Cent. Yeah, he um. Capitalized off of it. That's why I like. 
Man, let's make that happen, man. I'm just playing. Yeah, I wish I could. No, no, <laughs> I wish no, I could no. make that happen. Um, but no, 50 told that nigga, said that um, he was chilling backstage somewhere and Diddy asked him, uh, <laughs> when we going to go somewhere and chill or something? And, and um, we can go shopping or something, go to eat. Yeah, 50 no, said, no, what you just him, say, me? No, Shopping. Yeah, 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 he said he's going to pull up on them like, hey, man, didn't you play with that butt? I said, nah, I, I, don't, I don't even care. I don't want to know. Like, That's wild, bro. Yeah, but that, that Cassie, his, his case is Cassie. Crazy. Like, man. Beating her, molesting her. Not molesting her, but, um, you know, all types of shit. Like, rape. Rape. Know, rape and and watching her get hit by other dudes. Like, that nigga, he, that's some I weird shit. I couldn't even mess with her again. Oh, I could, but I'm gonna use you for what you're good for. <laughs> That's my problem. Whatever, so you gonna whatever, whatever you present to me is what I'm gonna use you for. So you gonna set her out again more than once? So what you mean? Yeah, whenever I tell her, like if you gonna do this, you gonna get. You gonna, I don't care if it's my main girl. So if, if you show me this, if you show me the side of you, I'm gonna treat you like that. You can't be mad. I treat you how you treat yourself. I tried to get you better. You don't want to be better. So now I'm gonna just. I feel it. All right, so let's talk about some of you, man. What's going on with you, man? You, were, how do you describe yourself, man? When somebody asks, "Who is Ronnie Hines?" Because you just because you don't you don't think I know your name. I, you know I know your name. I work with you. I knew you since you was growing up. I know your whole right. government. You know what I'm saying? So, what, 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 how would you describe yourself if somebody, if you want somebody ask you who is you? Man, really, it's hard for me to explain. I mean, I can't really. I never give a good answer because I feel like I've been I'm I'm like two different people around other people. Like, depends on who it is. Depends on who it is. Like some people they probably like, oh he's goofy. Some people don't know that side of me. Some people just like, no, nah, he don't be don't talk to him. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> but as a person I feel like I'm a um I'm a cool person. Like I um uh I love fighting. I love the art of violence. Oh, I'm a, with that, so so you want to explain it? Still yeah, explain explain on this a little more. Uh, like. Like, Con combat or like just combat just just like violence too, like because violence is like I feel like violence because you can manipulate violence in so many ways. Like I don't like I could be violent right now, but I I'm not. You don't got to know I'm violent. Like I got, I got this violent. You know what I'm saying? I can have violent energy, but I, I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not being violent. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it's just like just me being a professional fighter. It's me fighting my whole life. It's just like I was taught how to I'm a weapon. Mm -hmm. I'm a walking weapon. That's something my father taught me. Like growing up under who I grow up under, um, Steve Muhammad. Well, Sabir Muhammad, he changed his name. Sabir Muhammad. He was my martial arts, one of my martial arts instructors, and plus my dad, Saeed Muhammad. They always taught me, like, it's never, just because you can beat up somebody don't mean just walk around just beating up people, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because you know how to fight. So I always just honed it in, like, mm. I walk around like I'm soft, you know? Like, I don't want no problem with nobody, but really, in my head, I'll be praying something happens. Listen, hopefully, hopefully you don't get no liquor in you either, because once you get, I, I remember. Oh, uh, you know, I took a shroom and beat somebody up? Oh, bro. <laughs> First time and you went crazy, on, you went hawk. And I, you know what's crazy? What made me what made it even worse? I said it made it even worse. It was over my bitch. Over my bitch. Come on, man. We can't. We what, what we got? We I gotta be around you more because we don't we don't fight. No, you for, don't want to be around more. And that's the, no, you want to be around more. But I'm saying I'm telling. I can change. Not that I I physically can change it, but like. Or mentally can change it, but your energy would change around me, period. Because I know you feel a total difference from when before you left out the house till now. I feel good right now. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's the like energy, I, man. I, I feel good. Like it's, it's um, but really, I feel like 
in certain situations, you right. Like if I had somebody else around, that situation would never happen. Mm-hmm. But I was with my girl, and she didn't. It's hard. It's hard to explain to girls like certain situations because like, they don't know safety, bro. Safety, they don't. They don't know is, safety she, at she all. Loose. She loose. She off the. She off the thing too. But no matter how drunk, how high, how whatever I am off anything, I'm never. I'm never a high. I'm never too drunk. I've been drugged before. Mm. I'm never too too drunk to not know what's going on around. Me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So mm. I peep what's going on around, me, but she don't. Mm. She's just having a good time. Yeah, that's so it not it. It seemed like I'm tripping off the shroom, which I really wasn't, because I was I was coming down off my shroom. That's mm-hmm. what made me realize, like, because I was coming down off the shroom and I beat up somebody, because he was making like little passes at my girl, like you know how you walk in, and, this is my girl. You know what I'm saying? This is my girl. She with me. This ain't. You know, if this is one of your little, yeah, you you know, introducer, mm-hmm. you're like she with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever. But I walk in, make sure I I said my people. Like, Listen, this is my girl. That's what you said out loud. Everybody. Yeah, this is my girl, because they ain't never met her. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? This is my girl. We went up. I beat him up on his birthday. So I low-key feel bad for it, but I don't because it's like he put himself in this situation. But he was low-key making passes at her. Right? No, you, that's disrespectful like, shit. No, I ain't talking. No. If, I promise you. If you was in the situation, you would have probably did the same thing. I, I ain't going to say you probably beat him up, but you would have for sure probably said something to him. Like, bro, you tripping. Because like, he like making passes like, y'all hungry? Everybody saying they not hungry. But he like, shit, I'm hungry. I want to eat something. It ain't food. Fuck like, you, man. What did you do? What you, it's only one. Hey, what you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the read? That does like, not hey, read. Like, y'all want to sit on the bed? No. We, nobody wants. It's only one girl in here. That's what I'm trying to it's, it's One girl is her and four niggas. Three niggas. Oh, no. You see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. there's a shroom. But then I can't blame no shroom because I know what's going on. Like, Yo, you was definitely in your in your um, other world, but you also had, somehow God gave you the ability to weed out that shit and pay attention to the weirdness that was going on. Because ain't no way that I could have been in that in in position that didn't do the same thing that you did. Oh, what y'all thought you, y'all was gonna run a, you thought you was going to run a train on my girl you know or something? What the crazy but? part is, bro, because this, this how, this, what I do is I'm going to defeat somebody purpose of saying something. I knew I took the shroom. When I got there, I was already coming down off the shroom. But mm-hmm. my girl, she just took the shroom before we came in there. So that's why she laughed and she don't know what's going on. So I'm coming down off the shroom. But it took me 45 minutes to even say something. So for 45 minutes, he nonstop. Yeah, that's nonstop. a long time. And that's a long time. And then laughing. He was a fat. He was big as fuck. Like fat. Like barely get off the couch type fat. He was, he was making a little joke. She was laughing historically. But she's laughing at him, not with him. Uh-huh. She, like, this, she laughs, she on the phone, she close to tell her friend, like, but he don't know, he just hear her laughing, he just so busy, wrapped up in his yeah. his jokes and his, I'm just looking at this nigga like, first of all, I'm in my head like, bro, I'm high, <laughs> like, is I'm tripping, is I'm hearing things, like, I don't know, like, but then one nigga left, I just told him, like, what you think I'm, a, you, know what I'm you think I'm a bitch or something, like, you just gonna, just keep on yeah, doing this yeah, shit, like, it's nonstop, like, that's why I listen, bro. That's why I can't have my girl around certain niggas either. Because I don't go, I can't kick it too much, too far, too long with my girl because it's one of the two things that's going to happen, bro. That right there, that situation, are we leaving? Yeah. And she already know how I am. Like, you doing all that kiki, ain't no friend shit, ain't none of that shit with me. I'm not having none of that. You know what's crazy? Because I'm, I'm the opposite. Like, I, I, I would literally, I'm the type of nigga like, if you my girl, you my girl. Like, like I'm your dude. Like, say if my girl take me around all her friends. Mm-hmm. Or your girl take you around our friends. Three of them probably look good as hell. You probably uh, hit them on the low. Like, I'm not about to go. I, no. I might laugh or whatever the case, the, the atmosphere is, but I'm not. Saying so, none out of in your window type shit to so get I like to weird. Like, dude, I, I can take you around anybody. I, even if a nigga make a pass at you. Hey, he, he trying to make a pass at you, but you ain't fucking with him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I don't mind taking her nowhere. I, I, I don't mind taking my girl nowhere. If you with me, I don't mind taking her nowhere, but you got to behave yourself. You got to know what's going on. You got to know, like you said, safety. Mm-hmm. Safety. If, if I'm acting weird, something's wrong. <laughs> Something is wrong. Yeah, yo, yo, let's go should be way quicker than it is because if I start, because if, you know me, I'm not the type to get real tight about situations or around people. If I start to just be like, oh, bro, I don't 
Let's go, bro. Or I'm about to whoop this nigga ass. Well, as soon as you hear me say I'm about to whoop this nigga ass, you should be already like, oh, let's, let's go. Because it's going to go one or two ways, jail and all that other shit. I, I was watching TikTok and the guy, man, it made so much sense. And I was like, damn, that's what I want in my girl. Like, he said, you and your girl should have an understanding. Or like a bond to where you can say a certain thing, such as like my ankle itch, like a, a phrase, like a cold word or something. Cold word means yeah. it's, it's time to go. Yeah, you can yell at me. Hey, my ankle itch. Yeah. My ankle keep itching. She yeah. Know, like, yeah. Let's get up out of here. Like, yeah. she gonna make up an excuse. You see what I'm saying? Because if I make up an excuse why I gotta go with my ankle, it's like, that nigga's weird. But if I'm like, damn, my ankle keep itching. Then she make it up an excuse like, yeah, I got to do something at home. Can we go? Yeah, no, that's that's you hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's now hard. Now they don't know what's going on. They mm. just know we just had to leave. Like. Yeah. But, no, ain't nobody going to get that. Um, right. Get that what's name, man. Yeah, so, um, you, you let's talk about more of your boxing real, real quick before um, we up out of here. Um, so, your box, you, what's your record again? What's, what you say it was? It's 13. Thirteen and one. So, is it anybody that you looking at, or they? How you looking at that you want to fight next, or? Actually, fight next. Man, I hear Jared Anderson name a lot. I hear. Um, I mean, I hear a lot of people name. Oh, why you don't fight this guy, this guy? A lot of people just be saying names just because they don't know boxing. They just see somebody. Mm-hmm. But um, I actually don't. Uh, I don't like calling fights about like. We bump heads, we bump heads. Yeah. I'm from the streets, bro. I ain't gonna just bump. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't about to start something with a nigga. I For no reason. Extra views, nigga. I don't need your followers, nigga. Yeah, that ain't, really ain't. But a lot of people always tell me, like, bro, you. I sparred Jared Anderson before, but um, everybody's like, man, you got to fight him. You got to fight him. Like, yeah, sure. How much he him. weigh? Yeah, heavyweight. I don't know. He probably weigh like two thirty. He a little built, little nigga. He, he young too. He, he like twenty. I don't know. He like twenty three, twenty four. He built though. He like man. He built way better than me. Like, he got the chest, arms. He got the look for sure, but. Ain't no way. I don't know. I, I couldn't do it. I'd be wanting to get throw these fucking gloves off after uh, two jabs. You wouldn't though. The only thing is that you know, like the only thing is you would. I'm I'm telling you, you would. Because That's I ain't. Know. If, if I give you fifty thousand, not even fifty, I'd be like, here, I got thirty thousand for you. Not even thirty, I got fifteen thousand for you right now. Go go fight. This. Oh yeah, I'm, you throwing them gloves off? I'm throw, no, 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 hell yeah, no. Yeah, put them right back on. Keep them. Come on, win the loss, win the loss. So for me, it's like I um I did it for a living, so it's like shit, let's get this shit over and done with. What's the fastest um fight you had so far? The one I, uh, that I seen, I paid for the what's the name? I think so. That was like probably the fastest one. Thirty-seven seconds. No, it's it wild. Yeah, that's right. wild. He must have been tired, tired. I don't, I, to be honest, I don't fight nobody that can even last. Really. So it's like. They definitely not in shape. Yeah, or they all in shape. I probably, fought, I, probably, I probably fought like two niggas that was in shape for the fight. Like, that's my fault on PBC. That's my fault on the swing about niggas cracking. I notice, I notice now, I'm starting to notice, like, I don't get mad until I get hit. Like, after you hit me, I'm getting my hit back. Hey, what's dangerous is the pettiness when you fight. Yeah, I'm very because yo, once you get hit or they do something a little better than you, the what you want to do back to them is got got to be better than yeah, what they oh, did. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Like the nigga, man, that fight, the nigga hit me out because when you first start boxing, it's different from sparring. It's mm-hmm. different from fighting on the street. You got these lights, you got everybody looking at you. So the nigga, what I got out of this is my this is my experience out of it. So we in the ring, boom, I'm doing my thing. He ain't really doing nothing. I'm just doing my one-two. He missing everything, but he threw a punch. And it was this bright-ass light from the from the ceiling. And his punch was blended in with it. Like, he threw it wild, and it came from the top, so I didn't see it. That bitch hit me, boom. It hit me, and when it hit me, my neck caught a cramp. So my neck was like this, but I'm not trying to show him that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I just tried to fix a little bit until that bitch was stiff. So I'm just like, oh, all right. Trying to wait for my neck to, like, it's, it don't catch a cramp. It just catch, like, a... Like I'm a, ch- a Chinese horse, Charlie like a, horse, like, like a like a thing in your neck, like yeah. one of those crick things. So I'm like, um, so I'm just thinking, like, damn, all these people just seeing me get hit. Like I took the shot well, like I just boom, and it just like, I'm like, so my bounce back was like, yeah, I'm about to, I gotta, I gotta hit this nigga hard, but 
I uh well I ain't dropped, but when I got my when I got back together, I'm like, um I just went in and just dropped them. Hit him to the body, like, yeah. <laughs> you had to get it over with because you yeah, did that shit? No, no, I didn't get it over with. He um he got up off the body shot, but I'm like, yeah, I can hit you for sure. You can't come back after you get knocked down. Ain't no yeah, coming back. No, I hit him to the body. You know, you can, but did he drop yeah, after he dropped, it? But he, no. after you fall in a regular boxing match, oh, I think that's no, a... No, they, they count you. You got you to gotta beat that 10 count. You got to get up within this. Man, point. you ain't getting... But that's a, a big point for you, though. Yeah, that's a knockdown, for real. Yeah, so... Him yeah, so he ain't eight after eight, that? 10 to 8 rounds. So what's the most you, what's the most I forgot how many fucking rounds is it? It's twelve, ain't it? Twelve yeah, rounds at the max. That's the tw- that's the max, right? Yeah, but, uh, so what's the longest uh, you win? Eight. Oh my last fight was supposed to be eight, but um I don't know what happened. My opponent pulled out. They were just like, fuck, we're gonna make it six. Shit, whatever. I need some money. Yeah, <laughs> like So when they pull out and stuff, does that an automatic win? That should be an automatic win and shit for you. No, nah, fight just never happens. That bill got a ring for anything. Oh, okay. Oh, that's like you ain't get paid. You ain't doing nothing to that bill ring. You ain't see that one person who uh, he, he was about to fight a job. He walked in the ring and the, and the bell rung. He just turned right around and walked out. They nah. Had to pay him. They was like, we ain't putting this man through you no more. <laughs> oh, oh, I did see that. Yeah, I did see that. He didn't he even get the. Right out. I don't think was, paid and all the announcers was like, I ain't never seen this yeah, before. And I ain't never seen this before. Somebody else did it before, before him for sure, but I don't remember who it was. I've been married for two years and I have two little kids. All right, well, um, how much time we got left? What's, what's the time on there? Uh, what's the, uh, how much, how many minutes we've been running so far? All right, well, yeah, we got, yeah, 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 you know, we're going we gonna to go ahead and do this little wrap this on up. Um, I got this. Let me, hold on before I play. I got it. I don't want to. Last year, our first Thanksgiving together, my wife was in the kitchen. It didn't go well. We all ended up getting sick. Like, I ended up in urgent care. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this again. I'm going to play it again. All right, so I got a video, right, that um, I do... And his wife and his child got sick on Thanksgiving last year, yeah. right? I think it was Thanksgiving. They cooked some food for somebody, and they got sick. The mother don't know that they got sick, but... She don't know they ate the food? No, they ate the food, but the mother don't know they got sick. The mother brung to the, the cookout, wherever they had, she brung some dressing. That's the only thing she brought was some dressing. So in the dressing, I mean, in the cooking thing, the uh, wife cooked everything. Husband is oh, trying so to the say. the mother made the dressing? The mother made the okay. dressing, but the wife made the whole meal. Okay. So the father it was saying uh, what, he should, what should he do and how should he feel about his wife is the one who got him sick. But his wife is just blaming it on his mother. So he don't know what he should do in this situation because he don't know if they to have the food back at their house, which is she's trying to have Thanksgiving again at the house, but she the one who got him sick the first time. But she blaming on her mama. I so know. Like, I, I, I always look at it like, what would I do? That type of situation. Uh, you get sick again? Bad luck of the draw. We about to cook again. Everybody about to cook again. <laughs> <laughs> Split the food up. Hey, I don't know who it is. I don't. I think did he say? Made the dressing. Most likely he can get sick off the dressing. For sure not. So, but the wife. How you gonna argue with your wife? Hey. She like no. That was your mama. Your mama did it. Got us sick. Hey, your mama did right. this. I was like, okay. Whatever the case may be. We gonna, but so how would you explain to your mother? I don't think the mother know they're I even sick, sick though. Uh, I don't know if it was your stuff or her stuff. I mean, you can be more direct with your mother, huh? But the, her. But the situation out of out of, out of the situation, you know what I mean? Like it's I was just like, listen, I'm sick. I don't he know. don't want I that be, damn food no more. I just got off food poisoning. Well, you do. Why you be eating like that? Because I be having to cook. Like when I be out out of town at camps and stuff, I be having to cook for myself. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like you be having to, like I say I shop at 
what's that called? Costco. So you get like a twenty four pack of uh thighs for like twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. I would cook I would take it out the freezer, unthaw, put it back in the freezer, <laughs> cook that part, take it back out the freezer. <laughs> what the, the fuck? Because it'd be like I mean, now why don't I don't you just do it, but why don't you just cook all of them and save it till you need want them again? I might not, you know what I'm saying? I might not want that all week. You know what I'm saying? But that's the same thing as you and putting it if, back in. If you're gonna do it the way you was doing, you might as well yeah. cook it and put it back in the freezer. So all you gotta yeah. do is heat it in a microwave or something. Do that, but you're trying to cook 24 pieces. Of, no, no, you know no, 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 no. But what I did was wrong. I should have just like portioned them out. I should have portioned them out like four, 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 four. You know what I'm saying? For a meal. Mm-hmm. But I had it all in one big bag. And it's crazy, though, because I flew my son out to, uh, this when I was in L.A. I flew my son out to L.A. And I'm I'm cooking the, I'm cooking the chicken. Mm-hmm. And I tried to give him a piece, and he like, I don't want it. And he threw up off of it. And I'm like, nigga, you running around too much. Oh, and no. Bad meat. And I didn't know. And I'm over there. I ate all of them. I'm like, y'all ain't even want it. I'm eating it, bro. I had no. to pull out my fight because of it. I, my, I had a fight before this. I, I wasn't even supposed to fight no over there. I was supposed to fight like a month before that. that I mean, I the, you was telling me when I, um y'all came when you seen seen me pull up on me in the car. Remember oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was then or that was that fight you was talking about? I think that was then. Oh snap! Wow. Yeah, so I'm gonna do um probably I'm trying to do one reaction video each episode. So we're gonna name this this is the first episode. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for coming and chilling with the bro with, the, with my homie. Uh, what's this studio called again? I'm, what's this called again, brother? So you can help me again. I don't want to be uh, black, black, black box studio. Um, it's very dope in here, y'all. It's very. It got everything in one. Photo shoot stuff, studio, podcast, live podcast. Definitely. Um, hopefully, I can help bring some more business in here. Bro, you got to teach me how to. You got to teach me how to play chess one day, man. Well, how did you learn? Where did you learn how to play chess? Oh, my God. No, that's... I actually learned outside of jail, but I never played until I actually got in jail. I mean, I'll kick your ass in chess. I mean, not, not chess. No, checkers. Not chess. I don't know how to play chess. So, well, that's because that's it's kidding. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Um, I got a few uh, what's the names. I want to say. Um... <laughs> No, cause I don't know if, cause I don't know if I want to do the what's the name later or now. I was about to try to close it, but I don't know if I want to do the my my merch. You know, what I'm saying I got a lot of stuff right here, man. You know, so I don't know. What, no, I'm gonna do it at the end, cause I'm gonna just I want to bring it in. But uh, I don't know if I said my sl- um slogans at the beginning. Did I say slogans at the beginning? Oh, um, uh. Side Street TV. <laughs> I got a saying. Um, I mean, I got a voice thing that I might have to send him so he can uh, thing to do it. Yeah. Um, what's his name? It'd be like Side Street TV. Yeah, it'd be like that though. It's hard as fuck. I have to, I'm gonna let you listen to it. But um, you're here tuned in. To, um, you're watching at Side Street TV on YouTube. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at um Side Street Triple Underscore Promotions. Um, make sure you like, share, subscribe. All of those good things, where can they reach you at, brother? Man, reach me at um, on Instagram. I'm about to change my Instagram name for real, but you can reach me there at Ronnie T M Hines R O N E Y T M H I N E S. Oh, you I do got a long name. Like, you got to be shorter because your name right? is long. I don't, like, so. I, don't like my, I don't like my real name, to be honest. But I'm about to change my boxing name to El Toro. You know what El Toro means? Uh-uh, what the hell? I think I heard him. Oh. Uh. Ronnie the Bull, huh? And I'm a tourist. I mean, that, that, that might be read. That might read. That might get you a little check. You know, too, my boxing name came from. I don't know. Like, I just ran. They asked me one day, and I was just like, too much. And I just stuck with the name. Oh, well, okay. Well, you know, everybody get to re- 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 reinvent yourself. You know what I'm saying? I so. appreciate you having me here, man. No, thank you for hey, pulling up. Man, bro. Yeah. Bro, I, 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 I'm glad I did this, bro. Yeah, like, I'm glad I did this, bro. Get some of this energy, you know what I'm saying? This good energy. All right, man. It's Ben Andres. See, I don't know how to say Andres. It's German. I'm saying it wrong, too. Yes, it's German. I thought it was. 
What you no, thought it was? No, I thought it was. Um, I need all this. Yes. Uh, this is a good clip right here. No, I, I, mean, huh? I know you told me this before, but what the fuck I thought it was? Um, Japan, Japan, Japanese or oh, some shit? Yeah, it's it's been Andreas. It's German for I'm different. That's my clothing line right now. I got different styles, different shit. Most of my shit is different. Uh, you'll never see one thing oh, the same. No. This right here, yeah, it's you know, I got a couple. You know, I'm, yeah, that's. I'm gonna get you together, man. I just want you to put the merch on, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm all about branding yourself, branding what you got going on, man. So, uh, you had to get in this video with some shit on. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah. All my stuff is one on one. Um, you'll never catch something else with somebody else. You'll never catch somebody else with the same shit on. If you do, it might the same. Like yeah, you'll never catch nobody with the same shit on because ain't none of my stuff is the same. It's all different. Every single piece you catch, I got a lot of pieces out here, man. I probably got not a lot. I probably got maybe. No, but it's some they they got a lot of letters. A lot of the letters is the same, but the mater materials it's the no, the letters the same materials different. My 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 material my letters is different. My materials can be the same. So I can have two of these hoodies, but you won't be it won't be this gray. It'll be the white, pink, red. Oh, because this is puff. This is puff. Uh, what's her name? Yeah, puff vinyl. Um, but you'll never catch my shit. Man, I'm I'm about to make this. Uh, uh might put some patches on this. You start selling condoms. <laughs> next episode we're gonna be talking about all the condoms we about to be pushing, man. Next episode, man. Tune in to the next episode. Shout out to everybody, man. Let's go watch it. If you ain't watching, oh well, fuck you. Um, and then we out. Money off the condom. Man, listen, I've been messing with this one girl. She messing with camera. She be giving me hips to all the little things that them they be doing and shit. Like nigga, they be stuff, all type of like um um what's that called? Like honey pills? Honey packs? Honey packs? Honey packs, the pills, all that shit, nigga. Niggas like in the sex industry. Like they be making paper. Bro, this this was hot. This is a hot ass video on this shit. This is a, they made Savo um, and Booster. Oh yeah, you know what? I ain't go. Oh right, why you know we had a video on Booster? Yeah, I made a countdown on this right here. You know, I, oh, I so did. baby Savo be doing it. Yeah, that's what's up. Oh, uh, Let me call you right, right back. Baby Savo got I'm a doing little interview. feature with Booster. Yeah, I'm dead as well. Look, look, look. I'm doing an interview. Look, look. Say what's up to the interview. Uh, Say what's up, huh? No, I'm gonna be on there. You already on now, you call her, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say shout out to Shot Side Streets Entertainment. One time, you already on here. You got your tattoos out. Okay, so make sure they edit that part out. Girl, I'm about to come give you a kiss. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm calling you back. You don't do it. <laughs> You gotta call him back, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. But no, yeah, you said he got he got what? What booster? He got he a, got a song. He got more. I really thought he was gonna like. Y'all say he blew up, but like, no, because I don't just like I don't hear about like I ain't gonna lie. The baby several put out some songs that like them people would be hard. So I'm just thinking like I'm waiting for the time for him to be like yeah. He made it on some Q Money. I feel like, Q, honestly, I feel like Q Money the only one out of Queen that actually made it out. Like, nope, nope. Actually went. Can't say that. Can't say that. Can't say Ray that. Jr. Nope, can't say that either. The the Bo 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 they just be oh, Bone Hood, yeah. Like, like, we talking about no, I'm talking about like now. Century. Yeah, yeah. Century. <laughs> who else made it out? Because I mean, uh, Money Pooh. had a good start. Yeah, but he just messed uh, it up. Doughboy. Doughboy. Yeah, yeah. Doughboy. Yeah. But Doughboy not in his. Doughboy been on. No, he Doughboy been on. Doughboy was on before he went to jail. Yeah, he was on. A lot of people just didn't know Doughboy in Cleveland. Doughboy, 
That's the whole thing. Really? Yeah, Doughboy's yeah. unknown by his people. He was already on. In, in jail. Like, That's why Future was fucking Yeah, because uh, Future he had, a, he had a hit song and then he went to jail. Yup. He had a hit. I forgot oh, what he had. That's why Future made that song. Uh, what was that song? Uh, Future made that song about him, man. Uh, he got his name wrong and I can't think of it right now. But yeah, he was, he was already on for sure. Oh. He ain't been on way, like years. How long you doing jail? He did some time he in jail. Like, I think he got four years, but he got out a little sooner, like three. Yeah, so he did that three, but he was already on before that three. That's wild. I never knew yeah. that. That's, that's wild. Mm. But even though, but my thing is like, when I say make it, like, you can hear, you will hear Q Money music in other cities. You ain't going to hear it often, shit. You're going to barely hear it. But you're never going to hear a, this nigga you're never going to hear a Fat Owl song out of, out of town. I'm just saying, like. Eastside, Eastside was hard as fuck. No, to me, he made good music. Like he made some cool music. But when I say made it, like, do you do you actually hear their music on the radio, like, Listen, or bro, see somebody you playing? Can't it. say Fat Owl, bro. Fat Owl was on Madden. Everybody, their mama bought Madden. Everybody, know. everybody know that song, bro. No, they didn't. Everybody know that song. And he had the um the remix with Gorilla Joe and LeBron in the video. No, he that he did. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I like, almost made it. He fucked up his own money. <laughs> and then he got sued by Bill Cosby. Yeah, he did get sued. He got sued by Bill Cosby. That's why he never changed his name. To I don't know if he got sued or they just. Uh, uh, they did, I don't think they cleared his name when he was about to. When he was about to drop nationally, I think that's what held him up, and he had to change it to Al Fat. Oh, uh, sure. I don't think he got so I think something with the, what's the he name? He couldn't use that name because yeah. um, I Bill think Cosby Bill Cosby had that. Fat Albert and Fat Al. Damn. Which was smart. Well, Ray Jr. Ray Jr. be doing his thing though. He all right, man. I feel like he he played. I don't know what what role. What's that movie? Y'all seen that movie? He made. Oh, uh, I love it. I ain't really. This is Tubi Flay for sure. I never, I didn't even see a lot of people giving like good reviews on it either. That's why Bro, I it's Tubi. I never decided to the watch it. The shooting was late. Everything was late. Mm. She, sure. she killed this bitch, bro. I think I played the whole verse. This one made me start fucking with her. What was this? Top uh, Top three. Oh, that's Top three? You know what's crazy? I, I was hearing about that people Top three shit going on. I never. Never pay attention. Did they, did they squash that beef? Hell yeah, no. Man, somebody got, got shot, shot behind Ain't nobody just squashing that. Tyree in jail. Yeah, ain't no squashing that. Tyree in jail? Yeah, Tyree in jail. She got some time, too. She got like a couple years. Yeah, she got a couple years for that. What? Yeah. yeah. Piggy yeah. went to go tell real bad. <laughs> Piggy got shot. She took care right now. Niggas in jail behind that shit up in jail. Really? Yeah. That's what you need to do a full expose on that. Yeah. Like, what happened? You know, you know, just breaking down the whole thing. Do you no. know? Do you know what happened? Not the whole thing. I know that this is how it started. Well, how how it, the shooting started? They was at that club. It, it was and, after the um, cause that was crazy. Cause it was after the uh, Trina concert, and I was actually gonna go there. Yeah. It was after the Trina concert. It was outside. So look, it was a, up. What happened was the nigga thought. The girl that was in the middle of the um, fight was a dude. He start hit him, hit her with a gun on her head, right? Cause he thought it was a nigga. She had a hood on. She had a little B. She from um, Woodside mm. over there on um, what's the name? She he, the nigga thought B was a nigga. So B she got this Benny on. She go to the nigga. He go to the nigga. Hit her like she a nigga. She get out of it some kind of way and start shooting at the nigga. Mm. Then Tyreen and people were shooting at, I mean, yeah, Tyreen people were shooting at Piggy. And you saw how Piggy they fucked up. Piggy up. They said they fight her ass up. Bruh, she came back more sexier than she was. I don't want to hear you recording this. Uh, I hope yeah. it was recording. She came back more sexier than she did when she was before she got shot. Bro. I don't know. Like, her body got more tighter. Did you, Everything. I know, because she, she had to sit down. She, came, she couldn't do too much. Why she? You gonna get like when you when you get that when you get hospitalized, all that shit that you normally do you don't do because you got to sit down. Like 
can't eat That's as much. Good. Yeah, when I got shot, I was that skinny. Well, I was already skinny, but I got even skinnier. I'm when I got, when I got my surgery for this, nigga, I, I, I started weighing me like 215. Oh, broke? No, I ain't got surgery. Man. I ain't got no ligament right here. What you mean you got no ligament? I got Teflon. Oh, this is Teflon, bro. Right here. Let me see. Like right here. Right here. Like I do like this, I feel it right here. But how is you fighting it still? Like, that's it's still. I can close this bitch, man. Ain't nothing wrong with my favor. Nothing, dude. As long as I don't. Because if that bitch rip, it's taking all this. Yeah, you can't punch nobody like this. No, nope. that's why when I get it, when I get my hands wrapped, I gotta get this one wrapped extra so it can stay straight. Uh, but oh, it's part of the game, man. shit. My situation ain't nothing worse. You should see these fighters' hands. Motherfuckers, they shit. Shit, Bro, push it, fuck ass. up. Yeah, push it. That, man, this is the thing push in our shit, gym. Like, we say push, push curse us all because everybody in our gym got fucked up hands. Push shit, like. Push he started, definitely, push he still could grab you up like this. Push still got work, though. That's crazy, bro. Or he just be bullying on us. <laughs> That's because he's so, he's so a, of a coach. He's, he's been watching yeah. you for years that he know what you lack at. So yeah. it's like. I'm gonna test my hand to see if he, I bet he fake for this. No, push, be, push, no, well, push do push so funny because push be like so. We be catch a miss. This this shit push us. We be catch a miss. So we he be like throw a jab, throw a slow. But then he be like he be like all right. He teach you like all right. Say you throwing it wrong. Say you throwing it like this. And you like just go slow. So then you start turning over. You got to throw it fast. You got to throw it like this. Rawr, rawr. He's like, that ain't what we were just working on. <laughs> what you talking about? Like, or he would be catching my hands. And, like, right as I'm, like, he would, like, jab. Then he would slip the jab and hit me. Like, you got to be on your defense. Well, I, that was what we was working on. But it's just, like, that's not what I'm working on. Like, <laughs> what is he doing? Fried shit, man. You're a wonderful person. Coach. No, it is. Just, I know we talk about this every time I see you, but the time I seen him chasing him down and whoop somebody for that, on. For that laptop? Oh, oh, that, that, that was oh, Krishana. Oh, Keisha, Keisha Porter. Oh, Keisha Porter. That was Krishana Do. That was the first time I seen him out of his character. I wish I would have seen that. I ain't never seen him. I ain't never seen him push out of his character. I think he pissed off a lot. I ain't never seen him. Bro, just right. imagine. Just imagine. It happened so fast that you couldn't even really think. Like, how fast did you happen in the city? In the, in the, in what you did? That's not how fast it happened with him. Like, they was in the, in the wreck where the, the door is at. The door in the boxing room. He ran from there to that port in 2.2 seconds and caught that nigga hit him with three. <laughs> but folded up, when he folded up, that nigga was like, bat, 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 again. I was like, what the fuck? It's crazy. I was, uh, I was locked up with that nigga. Who, Push? No, the nigga who stole this shit. Oh. And I never knew, I didn't know about that story until after I got out of jail. That's what you're talking about? Yeah, you would have beat, beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> no, I wouldn't even touch no shit. That's Push problem. I let, I let a grown man handle his own problem. This is probably his number one song. Man. For a lot of people, I feel like I feel like me being big and that I box, a lot of people use me as protection. So a lot of people think they can do like one thing. A lot of reasons why I don't come outside or just do be on like just be around everybody is because I feel like people be around you, or around me, and they start talking hard to everybody else. Like you can't tell them nothing. Like I'm their security guard, and they put me in a situation like that. Like bro, you doing all this? You about to fight this nigga it's by to, yourself. And it's about to be weed no time, bro. Yeah. No, I already did. That's why I be by myself. You see who I be, I be my same nigga every day. That's why I only kick it with people from my hood. I can't I can't kick it with people like like Pig. I can't go nowhere pick a pig or something. Cause it's it's I still got some things I'll be not running from, but it's some things I did in my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know how the truth go, but it's like I don't know if Pig be ready. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't got time for a nigga. They ain't gonna call it. Man. Every time I see him in altercation, I always heard him say, Man, I'm gonna get my brother. No, yeah, that's what he do. But I you must don't know who my brother is. I seen him beat up one dude ever since then. Who? Who he beat up? Nigga, Dre? Dre? Ain't that beat him up for real? That was no. He won, though. He won. Though. He won a fight, but, but he didn't beat him up. Like, yeah, he didn't just like Molly Wap, nigga. He just won a fight. Listen, but every since then, the you can't tell Pig. You know, like, he like, yeah, nigga, know what I do. Like, no, nigga, don't know what you do. First of all, you had your your bigger brother overseeing it. Yeah, he was about to get. Yeah, and you had your big brother overseeing it. So don't don't. Yeah, hey. It's all the one one time I thought I I got my ass whooped though. 
I was at, going to Patrick Henry um, Middle School. Yeah, yeah man. Why you went to Patrick Henry? Yeah, I went to Patrick Henry, man. I, I, we in the field. I was messing with this dude, brother, dude, sister. Pause. I was messing with this dude, sister. Say, hold on, now. What's going yeah. on? Listen, dude, right, you so, need to tell this one. Listen, bro, chill out. So. I don't know what happened. Where I, I might have touched her booty or something. Oh, you was a pervert. <laughs> and all I know was the nigga said something, something, something. Leave my sister alone. I said, nigga, fuck you. Mm. Nigga stole me. Man, that nigga hit me with the quickest three ever. We was then on the ground tussling. I didn't even get to hit the nigga. I grabbed him as soon as he hit me. <laughs> get your ass on the ground. <laughs> they gave me the quickest three after that little one swing. No, I be, man, it's this fight. It's two fights that people like, y'all, I got beat up on. I ain't never get beat up, but niggas just, both of these niggas just slammed the shit out of me. This is not like high school. This is not, I had a list. Oh, you don't know about my list. I had a list of niggas. As soon as I see you, it's on flow. List. Everybody like, so, we're on the list. So one day I see the nigga. Man, we was fighting some other nigga. And in the midst of it, he come to help us. But no, nigga, you on that list. <laughs> man, Yo, I switch up was crazy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you niggas looking at me like I was tripping. Like, nah. Principle behind it, like y'all let that shit slide. I ain't letting that shit slide. So he woke up. He trying to help us. Like he, he fighting other niggas. I just take off. I don't know how the nigga turned around. He turned around and slammed the quarters out. Of <laughs> I grabbed this nigga so tight. I was like, nah, you about to ground and pound this one. Oh, like <laughs> Quarters on me, bro. Like, the I'll unexpected shit to be winning, man. The yeah, unexpected yeah. shit to be quarters out of you. Nah, for real. He's like quarters out of me, bro. I said, man, you don't keep it. Ain't about to grind up. Oh, this is my song right here. No, you know, it's a dope boy song. I fuck with. I can't remember. It's him and G Herbo. It's him and G Herbo. I can't remember. One time me and my brother.